Good afternoon. Happy Monday to you all. It's uh, October 3rd, and we're going to go ahead and work on our chart of the week. And we're going to bring up a familiar name, one that we did actually a little bit earlier this year, 2016. Charts looking pretty strong here right now as we see some of the uh, transportation names have been doing extremely well, helping to keep the market afloat here. So we'll mark this chart up as we go along here. So Delta Airlines, we see that bottomed here back in June, and uh, it's made a series of nice higher highs and higher lows as we've uh, been moving along over the late summer into the early part of fall. What really had my eye here was filling this gap from back in July, right after the earnings came out, the stock gapped down and filled another gap down on the low end side and from July. The stock went on a torrid run from the uh, Brexit all the way to the middle of July and then just died out after the earnings came out. Came back down, worked its way through the month of August, went sideways and has been making some higher highs and now higher lows in the month of September and had a strong day on the first trading day of October, October 3rd. And we can see some good strong volume and we see a breakout up to the upper end of the Bollinger Band. And, and that actually worked to fill up that gap from July. So where might the stock be headed? Probably the most natural spot, as you guys can tell, is the 200-day moving average, which is about 42.40. But I think that uh, there's probably a little bit more upside from there, even, even though we may encounter a little bit of trouble. I think that the upside is probably capped at around 43.75, which is about the... Uh, level of the bay highs actually we did get rejected a little bit higher from there about 45 dollars but that's probably the next level that we're looking at for um for resistance although 200 a is going to be present a little bit of a formidable uh resistance but i think this 43 and a half level is probably going to be even stiffer so from this point from 39.47 where we closed today that's about five percent move to five maybe six percent move to the upside we do have good, strong relative strength, and we see that's a nice slope upwards on uh, relative strength here. We do have an overbought condition on this uh, uh, momentum indicators, and we do have a MACD buy signal that was on from the middle of middle to late part of September that continues on. So we like Delta Airlines, and especially if uh, oil prices uh, stay in this range over here for the next uh, couple of weeks. We think that. Uh, Delta uh, has some strength, along with the other airlines. Uh, we, we noticed some good strength in American Airlines today, JetBlue, Hawaiian Airlines, and also United, uh, along with uh, Southwest Airlines. So all of them were, were real strong here. But I think the chart of uh, Delta looks the best. Thanks very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. <music>